a ready designer one. So let's create a simple drop down menu with auto layout prototype in Figma. And if you stick to the end, we'll see how to add it to a dashboard screen, which can be tricky, but easily solved. And we are gonna create icon by scratch by using the pen tool. So I just click and then hold shift and click and then escape. And I actually want this to be 16 and I want it to be a thickness of two and I also want it to be round. Okay, so zoom in again. I just wanna Command D to duplicate, hold shift and just rotate it by dragging. And there we have a very simple plus icon. And then what you can do is we can do Command E and that will combine it. And then I wanna put that into a frame so I just go frame selection and then I want to put that into an auto layout so shift A I want it to be spacing of 8 all around and I want to give that a color of dark and this is using the Tailwind um, color library where you can just choose black and then I want the selection to be white okay and then just give it 9999 give it that fully rounded look we can just call that button okay and then the next thing to do is to create the drop down menu so I'm gonna hit the T tool so we're gonna let the user add passengers and duplicate that let's say four times and then shift shift a and a spacing of 16 So now I just want to play around with spacing, but let's first give it a fill of white. And I also want to play with spacing, let's say 40, or let's say 32, and then 24 on the top. And I give that a slight rounded corner of eight. And the nice thing about Tailwind is you can also add a very subtle shadow. So I'm going to go for large. Is that too much? Let's say mid. Okay, so we're keeping it very simple. Uh, we can name this as well. So let's just call that menu. I'm just gonna call this add button. Next thing to do is to actually combine these two. So select both, shift A, and I want there to be a spacing of, let's say 16, or let's say 10. And we're just gonna call this Drop down menu demo. So I want to now create this as a component. So I'll just go up here, create component, just create a variant. So we are going to just hit the plus key there. And I want to just put this in a, into an auto layout so I can organize it a bit better. So shift A. I actually want to make this a bit wider. So if I go to fix width, let's say 240, just to give it a bit more room. And we'll do the same for this one, so fix 240, okay? And let's just have a spacing of 40, 40 all around. So just tidying this component up. So what I want to do is, I wanna go from here to here, and we're gonna use Smart Animate. So we're gonna start from 0% and what will happen is when you click it's going to then appear here now one little thing we're going to do is actually rotate this to be an X icon so I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to I think it was minus 45 there we go however it's messed up the the auto layout so we actually want to make this auto layout a fixed and let's make this, let's just think now, if we're gonna make this a bit bigger. So let's say 56 by 56, and we want it to align in the middle. Well, we're being generous with spacing, and same thing here again. I want to just make that fixed as well. 56 and 56. And just align that in the center. 
So now what we want to do is the prototype. So I'm going to go to prototype and I want to go to this one here and the interaction I want is when I click I then want it to go to change to the variant 2. Okay now we might as well name this a bit better so I'm going to call this show. Okay and then what we want to do is when we click on that we want it to go back so if we click on this specifically the interaction we want it to go change to um, default now the nice thing we can do is some very simple animation so I'm gonna say smart animate we want it to ease out and I want this to be quite fast so let's say 100 milliseconds same thing for this we need to go in here we need to also say smart animate ease out and that'll be a hundred milliseconds okay so let's see how this goes but in order to practice this or prototype it you have to actually put it in a frame so hit the F key let's just say a desktop there we go and I'm going to do shift I so drop down mini demo there we go I'm just going to put it right in the middle and then we just hit go here we hit play if I click there we go right very simple and it's got that really nice simple animation if you want to make this a bit better we can actually just improve the animation ever so slightly so one way to do that is if we just go back here there's a slight thing where it zooms it slightly zooms in and out or scales so there's a plugin we can use for this so if I go 100 and this is the benefit of using smart animate so command forward slash and this plugin is called scale which I always recommend and we want it to start at 95% so it's slightly smaller the only thing is now it's affecting the whole layout which we don't want so this whole thing is probably gonna to have to be fixed as well okay so this is a fixed width of 240 and this is also a fixed width of 240 so it just made it start at 95% and then when you click it will slightly zoom in so let's see how that looks it's very very subtle but it just has that extra polish you can see that very subtle zoom which I think is really really nice so what we're going to do now is we're just going to create a variant where we want the icon to be on the right and then you can also do one on the left but let's just do one for the right and here I'm going to create a new variant property this is going to be called position so if I just command it that one and this is going to be on the right and all I need to do is just do this where I use auto layout to go to the right and I want to command it that and I also want that to be on the right and then just align to the right very simple I just need to bring these together so they're together and so if I go here and say I want the right version and then let's quickly demo that And now you can see that it didn't work correctly and the reason why is because we have to update the interactions so here the interaction on this one we actually want it to go to right and this one as well we actually want that to also go to right as well so this should hopefully update and there we go okay so the next challenge if you stuck to the end we are going to now add this to a screen which can be quite tricky I'm going to go to YouTube and this is what we create recently I'm going to find the 
header and here you can see it's all using auto layout so I'm going to do shift I and I want the drop down menu and demo so I've placed it in now I'm just going to drag it into position and we made this slightly bigger which is fine and I'm just going to delete that one and now the problem is it's affecting the whole layout because we're using auto layout so the way to solve this is to give this an absolute position so this takes it out of the whole layout and we want this to be the right version and we also want to go from the right but we want to minus 40 so we're sticking to that spacing system the only trouble now is how do we then align it to the center which is not so easy so here I'm just going to do this manually let's see you can see that very small if you zoom in you can see that very small thing let's see if it tells me when to stop no it doesn't okay so one way to try this you can bring this down and you can compare it to everything else so I'm just going to leave it at that okay so what we're going to do is very quickly demo that frame So if I hit plus, you can see the problem now is that because it's using absolute positioning, it's actually behind all the other frames. So this is quite easily solved. And the way to do that is to select the frame that's containing your frame. So let's say the main frame. And here I'm going to then say canvas stacking first on top. So now this should be the first on top of the stack. And if I prototype that, we can now see that this menu is working perfectly. So now we can see we got the nice shadow and I hope you enjoyed this video. It's very simple and effective. Use it in your prototypes and you can show your clients what will happen when you click on a certain menu. So let me know what you think in the comments about this very simple prototype and I'll see you in the next video.